Hello all, welcome to this video. In this video, we will discuss about default and dedicated bearer. In LTE, these two bearers are present. So you should know like what is default, what is dedicated, what is the difference, when to use, when not to use. So we will discuss all this in this video. So if you see uh, in this diagram, uh, I have shown one is default and one is dedicated. In default bearer, as you can see, there is no guaranteed bitrate. The bitrate are not guaranteed like in this kind of bearer you can do facebook youtube email so very basic kind of thing you can do in default bearer but in dedicated bearer you can do much more advanced things like voice call uh, video call gaming and all these things you can do in dedicated bearer so you can say like dedicated bearer are more capable than default bearer so this is the basic difference you can say in default and dedicated in default this uh, initial attach kind uh, when you do the initial attach that time you will use default bearer and it it gives you always on ip connectivity as as people say like lt is always on because of this default bearer and we have default qos in default bearer and this bearer is used for ims kind of signaling when you establish ims connection that time default bearer is used Dedicated bearer, it's uh, you can say it is an additional bearer for the same APN. Like APN is same for both default and dedicated. In dedicated bearer, you create your own TFTs like traffic flow template plus new QoS, and this is used for voice and video. When, when you are doing uh, voice call or video call with with the help of IMS uh, or we can say Volte, that time you will use voice uh, dedicated bearer. So voice and video you cannot do in default bearer so in this diagram i just want to show you like what kind of bearer is present in which which network elements so between ue to e node b we have srbs and drbs srb is for signaling drbs is for data data radio bearer and signaling radio bearer between e node b to s gateway and s gateway to p gateway this default bearers are present and dedicated bearer as you can see in the diagram we have one default bearer and two dedicated bearer so this is the difference like ue to e node b we have srb drb then after e node b we have default and dedicated bearer so in this diagram you can see like we have two types of default dedicated inside this we have qs is also different for both bearer in default we have non gbr non guaranteed bitrate dedicated you can do both like gbr and non gbr both you can do with uh, as you can see there is one term qci qci is qs class identifier in next slide i'll explain like what qci do what so this default non gbr qci 9 is used and in gbr we have qci 1 to 4 and non gbr we have 5 to 8 in dedicated bearer so this is the difference between both default and dedicated with respect to qs so as you can see in this diagram we we have uh, defined the qci 1 to 4 in gbr and 5 to 9 in non gbr and priorities are also there delay how much delay is there so all these things example like uh, QCI 1 is used for conversational voice, 2 is used for conversational video, 5 is used for IMS signal which is very important. For streaming video, web you can use QCI 6, gaming you can use QCI 7. So this is the uh, different kind of QS you can allocate with respect to your service. What service you are using, QCI will be allocated to you. So if you feel this video is good, kindly like this video and share with your friends and also subscribe this channel so that i can share more videos and also press the bell icon so that you can get all the videos notification in your mail as well or in your mobile phones thanks for watching this video